Hi everyone, it's Lini George. I'm just going to uh, get everything set up to make sure it's showing on my Facebook page. So bear with me for a second. And if you're if you're watching, make sure to give me a like, a thumbs up, or a comment. Okay. Hi, Andrea. It's obviously working if you're watching. <laughs> Alrighty. So thanks for tuning in, Andrea. And for anyone else that jumps on, thanks for watching. So today I wanted to give you a uh, closer look at some of the new uh, products from the 2020 to 2021 annual catalog, catalog that's just about to be go live in June, on the 3rd of June. Hi Pam, nice to see you. Uh, so if you're watching this live, um, I will try and um, look at your comments, but if you have any questions that I miss, uh, during the video, I will go back through and answer them uh, after the video is finished. And I will be uploading this to YouTube. So if anyone's watching this on YouTube, um, give it a thumb, give me a thumbs up and a hi on there as well. Alrighty, um, how are you all? I hope you're keeping well. I hope you're getting some crafting time. Um, it's nice that we've been able to get out and about and uh, socialise a little bit more. And uh, I've um, taken the opportunity to go and see my mum who lives up north. We haven't seen her since um, early February. Uh, so it was nice to be allowed to travel and go and see her and, and do some caring for her. Uh, so that was great. So I hope you're all well. I'm going to flip the camera around and uh, put it in the, in the holder so it'll jiggle around a little bit. Just bear with me for a second. Okay, how's that? Does that look does that look okay? Alrighty. Hi Christine, I think I saw Christine's jumped on there too. And Pam. Okay. So uh Lots of you will already have a copy of the new catalogue. And there it is there if you haven't seen it yet. Lots of yummy things inside. Now, I can't show you the inside of it yet. Um, obviously, if you've got it in your hot little hands, you can see the inside of it yet. But um, legally, Stampin' Up! doesn't let us sh um, show the inside of the catalogue uh, over the internet um, until it goes live on the 3rd of June and I'll also be able to share the the PDF copy of it with you on the 3rd of June too. But let's just get started with a few things that are in it. So the new in colours. Okay, lots of brightness there and some nice autumn colours too. So we've got Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, and this one is Misty Moonlight. So really enjoying um, playing with those new colours and, and I've got some of the um, papers that coordinate with those new colours too. So I might start there. I think this lot is my favorite first lot of paper that I got <laughs> because we all know it's nicer in the um in the flesh isn't it so I'm still unwrapping this is how new all of this is I'm still unwrapping most of it so this one is called forever greenery DSP designer series paper 
Um, and this one particularly really reminds me of um, an Australian, uh, uh, one of the gum, one of the eucalypts that's got the real bluey green round leaf. So I don't know if that's what they based it on, but I love that. So that's that side and the other beautiful colours on the side of that. A nice watercolour thick stripe there. So that's that one. And again, this one reminds me of, um, that's bracken, uh, which grows in our Aussie bush, as I'm sure it does in other parts of the world too. So all the beautiful different greens there. I'll tell you the green, when I'm finished showing you the patterns, I'll tell you the green, different greens that it coordinates with. And a nice, um, it's kind of geometric, but it's also not. It reminds me a little bit of indigenous art painting, dot painting. Um, so there's actually a, a fair bit of, um, uh, is unevenness the right word um, to that design? It, it's a lot of movement to it as well as being slightly geometric. So that's nice. And this one, another, what I think is a beautiful gum leaf. And the reverse of that one, it's gorgeous. And this one is just beautiful. That um, bracken in the background um, almost has a goldy tinge to it, uh, which explains why um, some of the thread that they've paired with it is actually gold trim. So I'll show you that soon too. Um, it, it is actually green, it's not gold, uh, but it's just got that lovely goldy tinge to it. And the other beautiful side of that one. Another nice simple leaf pattern there with, lot, with more white on it. I, I like that. So if you want more white, um, that'll look nice with a, one of the darker greens underneath it. And then you've got more white showing through and a beautiful, uh, to me that looks like water, a, a water pattern. Uh, it's beautiful. And another small leaf pattern with more white in it. I really like that one too. And the other side of that one. It's the same leaf, but it's like the um, negative kind of thing. Yeah. So that's that. And the greens that they coordinate with are Garden Green. The new Just Jade, so I'll just show you what that looks like up against the papers. So that's that one, Just Jade. Uh, and it also coordinates with Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and the pale one is Soft Sea, sea Foam. And obviously Whisper White in there too. So I'm look, really looking forward to playing with that. While I've got that paper out, I will show you the ribbon that coordinates with it. And it is, it's a combo pack. So you've got this beautiful gold thread and it's a gold trim, but it's not like the, um, it's not as fine as the metallic trim that we had um, it's actually a few more strands rolled together but it's a similar it's the same kind of stuff but so you can use it as is or you can untwirl it and use it in individual strands so that's great too and this one is um, a beautiful um, vanilla open weave ribbon and it's really super soft. It's not stiff at all. You can see how that's flopping there. Um, it's really easy to tie bows, even though it's it's a wider ribbon. Um, I, yeah, I sometimes find wider ribbons harder to tie bows, but um, because it's so soft, it's super super simple. So that those two um, just look beautiful with those papers. So that's that one, and the stamp set in that suite, the forever, the forever greenery suite is this one 
Forever Fern. So all those fern designs that we saw in the paper are in the stamps and they're those beautiful um, uh, textured, I think these are, I think they might be distinctive stamps. Uh, yeah, they are because they've got a lot more detail and texture in the stamp themselves. Um, and I just love the script um, greetings on that too. So that's lovely. And that stamp set comes as a bundle if you want the matching dies, which of course we always do. Who wants to fussy cut? Not me. Um, heaps of dies in that one. There are there are 14 dies in there. So every single leaf stamp has an outline to cut it out. Plus you have these more detailed, beautiful um, extra leaves as well. So that is gorgeous. So that is a great bundle to get that one. That was the first thing on my wish list. Okay, so moving on from that paper. The next pretty one is called Flowers for Every Season. Uh, and this is a, a new suite as well. So there's a whole suite of products that goes, includes this paper. Um, the, one of the things I like that they've done in this catalog um, is that they've, when, on the page that they show the whole suite of products, if you have to have the whole suite, there is just one order code. So you don't have to keep entering individual order codes. Um, so one code for the entire suite, but by the same token, if you don't want everything in the suite, you can just order the individual products. So I love that too. So I'll just show you the um, papers for this one. So this one, obviously the other one was 12 by 12. This one comes as six by six. Um, the it you get four each of 12 double-sided designs so you get 48 sheets in the six this six by six pack so you've got those ones beautiful colors in these fl florals uh, and you can see the new in colors coming through there that's the cinnamon cider and the, obviously the blue is the misty moonlight and the bumblebee in the, in the yellow. Look at that gorgeous bumblebee colour. I love that. I'm actually not a big yellow fan. Um, so I'm really surprised at how much I'm liking this yellow. Um, I use Daffodil Delight a fair bit, but only for um, like the centre of flowers or something like that. That's my been my go-to yellow. Um, but I'm actually liking this one to use as more of a, a larger um, colour on a card. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? There we go. Did I, did that one have, oh yes, did that one. I'd say that's the um, magenta madness there in the rose or whatever it is. And a smaller version of that, I really like that. More Magenta Madness there, and the Just Jade and the Bumblebee coming through on that one. And that gorgeous um, leaf design there on the back of that. I love this. Again, really surprised me because I'm not a yellow girl. But the, um, I'll see if I can give you a bit of a closer up. The, the delicate flower design on that, being so small, um, is just adorable. So there you go. Oh, and I love that because <laughs> I really am a pink girl. Pinks and purples. Beautiful. So you can tell why this is called um, Flowers for Every Season. Um, and doesn't this the back of this one look like wattle? I'm sure that's wattle. No, actually it's not, but I'm going to use it as wattle because <laughs> who would know? It might be. Anyway, let me know what you think. That's a pretty one too. 
Nice simple dot on the back of that one. Oh, and the blue and the green and the um, vanilla in this one. And even a, a pop of the cinnamon. That is beautiful. Um, very delicate, that one. Um, I don't know how good my lighting is, so you probably, you might not be seeing the true colours. Although I'm watching, watching on my laptop and... Mm, yeah, no, it's not um, coming through quite true. This, um, what looks like a chrysanthemum flower, on my screen looks a bit more white, but it's actually um, more vanilla. And I'd even say that might be the, the cinnamon that's in the middle of the flower. I'd say it's a lighter version of that um, mixed in with the... The vanilla of the flower so that's lovely it's really um subtle and delicate beautiful um monochromatic uh is that a version of that yeah it is too how cool is that that's nice and i reckon this side looks like a christmas paper i would use that at christmas time so i really like that and this one was um, definitely they designed this one to use at Christmas with the poinsettias in it. So it's nice that we've got um, a set of papers that can be used all year round. And the nice cinnamon on the back of that one. So that's the flowers for every season. Now, there is a ribbon combo pack that goes with that one. So I'll show you that one now. Uh, it's actually a three pack. And you get this beautiful white. Again, it's a really soft, um, I don't know what you call it. It's, it's like linen. It's probably not quite, it's not quite as open weave as the other one I showed you. No, it's not. Um, but it is... Uh, quite see-through and nice and soft. So there's that white one. Then there's a gorgeous um, gingham in the Just Jade colour. And then they have um, a twine, a, a baker's twine, which is a mixture of white and misty moonlight and silver all wound together there. Can you see that? There we go. You can see that a bit better now. Yeah, so that's cute too. And they do come on spools. It's just that I shared them with someone else. I shared a spool with someone else. So I just haven't um, wound mine back up yet. All right, so that's that paper. We'll put that one away. Uh, now, the next paper I've got is the, um, the In Colour DSP. So... Um, they've brought out uh, patterns in every colour family uh, in six by six. So you can either get it in the in colours, uh, the new ones, 2020 to 2022, or the um, in colours, the other previous in colours that are still current, the 2019 and 221 in colours, or any of the colour families. So your brights, your regals, your subtles and your neutrals all come in these patterns. So you get four each of two double-sided designs. So these words, I know words are really important to some people. If you're wondering what these words say, it is in some different languages, but the English says to love what we do and share what we love. Um, and that is Stampin' Up's motto. So they've used that on their designer series paper. And the rest of the words are just in different languages. So I presume that it's the same uh, motto. So there's the other side of that one. A nice simple wood grain there. And then you get the dots. And the other side of that is a nice grungy sort of texture. And so there's the, all the different colours in those patterns. So that's just the in colour ones. Uh, 
and the in color ribbons to go with it oh i love these i i'm actually much prefer thinner ribbons i feel i can do um, a lot more with them so it's a it's a twill ribbon and it's only a quarter of an inch and it's really again it's really soft um, this one actually has a little looks like it's got a bit of a sheen to it um, but it's really soft and slippery so there's the magenta madness the just jade beautiful the bumblebee the cinnamon cider that's beautiful and the misty moonlight i'm kind of surprised i'm loving this because i'm really not a dark blue fan but this particular ribbon because of the shimmery the slight shimmeriness on the ribbon it's kind of got a silvery um well what i would think a, a moonlight um color would be it's got that silvery gray um gray yeah it's just really pretty <laughs> so that's the in colors oh hang on i've missed one no i haven't that was five wasn't it yep one, two three four five all right so that's um as far as i got with papers and ribbons for my um pre-order so now I'm going to show you some more stamp sets. Okay, this was the first stamp set bundle on my wish list. Jar of flowers and it comes in a bundle with this punch. Isn't that cute? Oh, I just fell in love with that. And it's a photopolymer set, but... Um, when you see images like this, they're not two separate stamps. They're actually reversible. So I don't know if anyone has used reversible stamps before, but you just flip the stamp over and the other side is solid. So yeah, you can use either side. You've got the, the water there. You can use it for water. Um, and I'll show you, I've had a little bit of a play with it. I haven't made a card yet, um, but I have a, had a little bit of play with the... Um, the jar there and those gorgeous flower and the lid is separate that is really cute so and these are straws so you can have a jar with a drink in it or a jar with flowers in it you've got the beautiful flower stems there that um, you can stamp inside the jar and then the flowers sit on top so I'll show you what I've been fiddling with for that one so um, part of that suite, that jar of flowers suite, is also a pack of jar domes. So you can make shaker cards, mason jar shaker domes, they're called. So adhesive both sides. And I'll just show you what I was playing around with. So I have cut out, simply cut out um, that with the punch. Okay, and then I stamped on Whisper Wide, I stamped the jar and then set, stamped um, some water separately. And what you do is, if you put the, the dome inside there and then layer that piece behind it, ta-da, you have a cute little jar on the front of your card. And then obviously you can stamp um, the flowers and you can cut them out if you want. You can stamp the stems um, or use the straws. Um, or you could use just a plain card with the um, jar stamped and punched out with the flowers stamped on the card. So I'm looking for, really looking forward to playing with that. And of course it doesn't have to be a shaker card. You can make it a shaker card if you want, but you can just have it as a clear jar. I think that's really cute. So that's that one. I'm not reading comments. I'm sorry. I can see Julie. Hi, Julie. 
Um, hi Karen, nice to see you too. And Christine, and I did see someone else. Oh, I thought I saw someone else that I didn't say hi to. Um, I feel like romper room. Hello Karen, hello Andrea, <laughs> and hello Leonie. <laughs> It's lovely to see you all. Thanks for watching. All right, so that's the jar of flowers. And this next one was the second one on my bundle on my wish list. The lovely you stamp set in a bundle with the this punch, which is called um, <laughs> the lovely labels pick a punch. I'm so excited about this punch. I had, um, I've had the triple banner punch before. I liked the idea of, of punching different size banners. So I just jumped at this one because it's got two designs. Can you see that? Two design labels that you can punch out. But each design has three different sizes. So I'm actually going to show you, and I loved the sentiments in this stamp set, both what they say, but I also really loved the script writing. Um, so I really had, of course, to get the bundle. Uh, so I'm just going to show you what this punch does. Now, this one on the left side here, I think presume it's your left as you're looking at it too. Um, this is the very small one, and I've already punched that out. So you can see... Can you see that? So that is what the smallest, oh, yeah, I get that right. There we go. That's what the smallest shape punches out as, right? And on the other side, if I did this one here, this is very simple, this one. It's basically just cut the corners off there. So that's the, oh, sorry if I'm making you sick moving that in and out. Um, that's the smallest size. That's um, half inch, I think. It comes with instructions to tell you what size to cut your cardstock. So yes, the smallest size is half inch. And then we go up to three quarters. And I just thought I'd punch those um, while you're watching. So this is a three quarter inch one. So see how you get much more detail than that one. Oops, that way. There we go. Hi, Sharon. Thanks for popping in, doll. Nice to see you. And on the other side, and I'll show you what that one looks like. There we go. I punched that a little bit crooked, but you get the idea. Okay. And then the larger one is one inch. It does give you centimetre measurements in the instructions as well, but I'm just using the inches. So the largest one is one inch. So let's see what that one looks like. So it gives you the guides. Um, so you know that you're in straight. You just keep pushing it until it stops. See how much more detailed that is? Really cute. And then the other side. Is that one? So even though that's the plainer one, that one inch size is nicely detailed. I really like that. Okay. So good thing to know with these style of punches, um, leave them flat on your table. Don't try and turn them upside down to punch them because you know with other punches, um, when you've stamped an image and you want to punch it out, it's easier to turn it upside down and look at it from that way and, and punch it like that. But with these ones, you really need to leave them sitting flat on the table. Otherwise, it you know your paper might not sit straight or um, you might not punch it evenly. So that's a good a tip to know with those punches. So that's that bundle. Okay, what else have I got here? Um, 
another stamp set I ordered just um, as a on its own. Oh, I love this, a grand kid. So most of you know I'm a nana or a grandma, <laughs> and um, I've never seen a grand child um, stamp set before. So I was really keen to get this one, and I was actually looking at the different sentiments and thought, well. If you weren't a grand grandparent, there are lots of sentiments that you could still use and you could even cut some of them up. For example, best grandkid ever. I love that. But if you chopped those, stamped it and then chopped the words up to use as three separate words, you just chop off grand and you could have best kid ever. Um, and um, yeah, there's lots of other ones there that you could do that with too. So looking forward to, and of course, my um, eldest grandchild has had a birthday just before I got this, but never mind. Um, I've got another one coming up. I've got to wait till Christmas Eve for the next grandchild's birthday. So that's that stamp set. And oh, the in colour, I forgot to show you when I was showing you the ribbons, they've got in colour enamel dots too. So they're really cute. They're not the larger ones, the different sizes that they've had before. They're just the teeny little ones. Um, so great if you just need a little bit of colour on your card without a great big huge dot on it. Um, so they are really cute too in those new in colours. So that is that. Um, a couple of things to make sure you realise both uh, the two catalogues that are just about to retire, the big annual one and the mini catalogue. You can still order from up until the 2nd of June. So there you'll know that on, you'll see on my online shop, um, a link to they're called last chance products are the ones that are retiring so that is the best place to look for them because if they've sold out sold out they won't be in the online shop so I know some things have already sold out some things sell out really quickly uh, but there are still some great um, great things in there if and keep an eye on it right up until the 2nd of June because they haven't told us they're going to do this, but I know sometimes they'll discount th things even further at the last minute. So keep an eye on it if there's anything that you're um, looking for. Otherwise, on the 3rd of June, you'll be able to order from this beauty. And there are some special offers that um, are coming with this new catalogue too. Actually, there is one more stamp set and bundle I forgot to show you. This one was an early release that I did advertise. Um, it's in the new catalogue, but it was released early. So it's called Ornate Garden Bundle. Uh, and there's two stamp sets and two die sets. So they don't come as a bundle of four. You either buy both bundles or you buy one bundle, whichever you prefer. So I bought one of them as a bundle but I wanted the other stamp set. So, um, and I'll probably end up getting the dies. I'm regretting that I didn't, but you know, money's tight, times are hard. Um, and they're the dies. That's one of the set of dies that comes with them. Gorgeous, ornate borders there. Hence the name, Ornate Garden. So looking forward to having a play with that too. And I, this was the stamp set that I ordered separate. I'm pretty sure those two went together and uh, I just really um, wanted all those uh, thank you sentiments um, so that's great too so uh, there, there are a couple of as I said a couple of new things that are happening with this catalogue um, one of the things is if you have ever considered purchasing the Stampin Up starter kit which makes you a demonstrator there is a there is a special that is only from the 3rd of june when this starts through to the end of june and that is that in your starter kit that is already discounted you can pick one bundle out any bundle out of the catalog for free so a stamp and die bundle 
or a stamp and punch bundle. It has to be a stamp and a tool bundle. Um, so you get to pick any of those for free if you purchase the starter kit between the 3rd and the 30th of June. So that's a great um, a great idea. And there is another, um, the stamp and rewards program that uh, gives you percentage of free product when you reach certain when you purchase a certain amount of goodies um, there's extra rewards too so I won't go into that now because I've been yabbering for long enough I'll actually put that in my newsletter and on my Facebook page uh, so you'll be able to read it if you uh, don't get my newsletter, but you would like to. There's a link to it on my Facebook page on the left-hand side menus. Uh, there is a link that says, I will tell you in a second. Oh, it says something about newsletter or sign up or something, sign up and get my newsletter, something like that. But if you can't find it, just send me a message and I'll add you to my email list. So that is pretty much it, lovelies. Um, anything else I wanted to show you? I think that was about it. Um, I'll see if I can turn, flip the camera around so I can say goodbye to you all. Uh, let's see, where are we? Bear with me for a second. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Oh, oh, and there's Marilyn. Hi, Marilyn. Um, so I hope I got to say hello to everyone, but if I didn't, I'll say hi to you um, when I sign off. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, seeing all those goodies, and I can't wait to show you some things that I'll be making with them. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care and um, be safe. Bye.